camera system. Uh, South Australia Police has uh, always been lawfully obligated to provide access to photographic images taken from our camera system for speeding fines and red light camera fines. We've always made that available through people attending at police headquarters to view the images or by posting out uh, printed copies of those photographs. We have completed a review of our speed camera system and that review identified that it would be appropriate to increase accessibility for people who are looking to uh, view those photographs related to their speeding or red light camera fines. And as a result of that, through six months of technological advancements, we have been able to launch uh, photographs online for people who have a speeding or red light camera fine. As of today, people can go onto our SAPOL website, uh, click on an icon and bring up the photograph of the speed or red light camera infringement and make a decision as to whether they believe they need to review that matter with SAPOL or go to court on that particular matter. Um, is there any concern, obviously now, I mean it's always been available to people, but a lot of people wouldn't bother going to that effort, they'll pay their fine. If people have such uh, easy access to these photos, are you worried that more people are going to challenge, there'll be more cases going through the courts? I think what we'll see is people will look at the photographs and appreciate um, the circumstances, understand that their vehicle has been detected, and they'll uh, be able to make a decision as to whether they think it's worthy of a review or whether they choose to pay the expiation. And our expectation is that it will give people some clarity in that regard and we'll see those expiations being paid as we currently see them. So this, uh, this is for all types of fines? This is, for, this is for detections through our speed or red light camera network and it also includes the 13 cameras that the Department of Transport operate under the Safety Cam program. Uh, SAPOL's photographs come from uh, up-to-date digital technology and we'll be providing full colour photographs of speed and red light camera offences detected through the fixed camera network of which there are 109 cameras or from our 18 mobile speed camera devices. Uh, the black and white photographs will be supplied by uh, the safety cam system but each of those sets of photographs will carry detailed information in relation to the time, date, location and other uh, important facts in relation to the offence. How long will the photos remain on the system? How long do people have? Um, the photograph will be available as soon as a person receives their expiation notice and they will need the details from the expiation notice to access that photograph and the photos will stay up online until the person has paid the fine or uh, the matter is suspended because they're choosing to take the matter to court. Why did you think this was a good idea? What was it in the review that found accessibility should be improved? Uh, I think it's clear that people, uh, people have issues with the speed camera network. Uh, people aren't necessarily happy with receiving an expiation notice and there is that question mark in people's minds as to whether their vehicle was there at that time. Um, we do have about 16,500 requests a year to view photographs and we have dealt with those requests. Uh, this just gives people that opportunity to satisfy themselves that it was their car and probably uh, uh, jog their memory in relation to the offence having been committed. How far back will it go? Will it, will it be for every fine that hasn't been paid like it could be? three months old, six months old, but as long as it hasn't been paid, it'll, it'll whilst, be... Whilst the expiation notice is active, the photo will be online and available for viewing. Um, if a person has a problem in accessing the photograph online, they can contact our expiation notice branch and the details are always on the notice and we will arrange within one business day or two business days at the most to provide access to the, that photograph either through email, hard copy or giving them more details as to how they can access it online. And from today, these are available is it people who find or who allegedly speed or go through a red light camera from today? No, if a person has an active notice, my understanding is that they can put those details in and the photograph will come up for their ability to view it on their computer. Once it comes up, people can save it or print it uh, so they can retain it for their own purposes should they need to do so. We have privacy provisions in place, so you do need the details from the expiation notice in order to access the photograph. Will there be a more thorough review of each offence before it gets sent out now, given how easily accessible it's going to be? Do you have to, no, the, re the review on? system is not changing. Uh, we have a rigorous process in place to review uh, expiation notices, um, and only those ones which meet that threshold of um, auditing are sent out to people who have committed the offence. So there'll be no change in our review process at this point in time. Will this save money and time in terms of not having to post things out? or? Has it cost a lot to put this together? Uh, it cost us about $100,000 to develop the technology to enable photographs to appear on our uh, SAPOL webpage. Um, 
I think it's to be expected that over time, with the reduction in the printing costs for the photographic images we send out, there will be a saving, but that's clearly not the purpose for this. This is to enable people to have greater access to these images so they can make their own decisions uh, in regards to review or paying their notices. You say uh, 